urban artificial intelligence strategic thinking media platform a lot going on today man that boy Lil dirk man it's not looking good for him and the whole otf man this shit crazy man but first thing i want to say R.I.P. to Lil Pip, man. You know what I'm saying? Lives was lost on both sides. R.I.P. to King Von before we get into it, man. Because this is a serious matter. So let's get that out of the way first, man. Now, OTF, the feds did sweep OTF, man. Five members of OTF arrested for the Quando Rondo Lil Pat murder plot in California. Now, I'm going to make a lot of content about this. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be checking in about this topic. But from what I'm hearing, man, and we're going to get deeper into it in other videos, but from what I'm hearing, these dudes use OTF cards to travel, to buy things that helped their travel to go try to kill Quando Rondo, man. Why they would do that with OTF cards, I don't know. It's a lot of video out there of certain people um implicated in this and like i say it's a lot of content this is a real deep issue so i'm gonna be making more videos about it where i get more into depth on certain things but it was supposedly somebody who was wearing a wire who was around for years in the indictment the way that the indictment is written the way that the stories are being told the way that people are being implicated it's clear that somebody from the inside was giving police this information when the whole mama duck thing came out I don't know if she knew, which is another situation that we're going to get into. Are these things linked? Because I made some content about Mama Duck not too long after that. This happens. You know what I'm saying? Uh, after that Mama Duck thing happened, it created a wave effect. I don't know. Or that was the chronological order of it. I don't know if those things had anything to do with each other. Maybe Mama Duck knew the feds was about to sweep OTF. I don't know. We don't know, man. But now, Dirk is arrested. All right? And I'm going to make a whole nother video on that. I'm just focused right now on these five OTF guys, y'all, because this gets kind of deep, man. And it's a lot of video that we're going to talk about that we're going to get to that's showing you step by step. This guy was around, and he was giving information to the police. And it's just unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate. Now, like, share, subscribe. Help the channel grow. I want to know what y'all think about Lil Dirk, the murder plot, the Quando Rondo murder plot, where Lil Pat was killed in L.A. Supposedly, the shooters are all, all connected to OTF, all deal with OTF, not only on a personal level, but they deal with OTF on a business level as well. That's going to cause Dirk monetary issues. That's going to cause him problems with his business, and that's just going to give the fans another angle to take another way to infiltrate, man. And I'm even hearing crazy stuff as crazy as this man might be getting a death penalty, they, they may be attempting to give Lil Dirk the death penalty, man. Now, if that's the case, that is unfortunate, man. That's shocking news to me to think of somebody like Lil Dirk, a mainstream rapper who was making millions of dollars making music, could possibly get the death penalty or even be tried for the death penalty man this is crazy news it's all over the blocks man but i want to know what y'all think man get in the comments what do y'all think about otf man how do y'all feel about indictments the fans sweeping all these rap groups man and i heard somebody say something important in an interview from now on moving forward people are not gonna name their business after their street crew we've seen yo Gotti change cmg cocaine music group to creative music group that's gonna be a thing no longer are people gonna have a, a street crew and then when they start rapping that street crew name is gonna be the same as that's gonna be their record label name that ain't gonna happen people gonna start changing names people gonna start cutting ties because this whole otf thing is crazy um and people are gonna learn from this this is gonna be a, a, a situation that a lot of people are gonna learn from now, I'm not going to get too deep into this, but the man is supposedly OTF Jam. That's supposedly a guy. And it's a lot of video with OTF Jam and Lil Dirt that we're going to get into, man. Um, he was the guy that was supposedly wearing a wire. I don't know. I'm not judging OTF Jam. I don't know what happened. He's going to get his day in court. He's going to be able to explain why he did what he did. That's his business. But with OTF being a public entity, you know, Dirk being a guy that I'm a fan of, I listen to Dirk music. So we got to discuss this. We got to talk about this. And this is the guy who is supposedly behind us. He was wearing a wire. He was the one who 
supply the federal government with a lot of important information about dirt. I'm just reporting the news, y'all. Now, it's also OTF DD, OTF Vani, OTF Boogie. All, right? all their names having OTF in it definitely does not help Dirk's case, man. So these are the three guys that the feds say went out to execute Quando Rondo, getting revenge for Quando Rondo's homeboy, getting revenge for Quando Rondo's homeboy, Lil Tim, killing King Von. They went out there. They tried to kill Quando Rondo. They didn't kill Quando Rondo, but they did kill his close friend. I'm not sure if it's his cousin or his close friend, but they killed somebody very close to Quando Rondo that he's known his whole life, man. And it was a tragic uh incident rest in peace to that person too you know what i'm saying unfortunate part they come with the streets now they saying that otf is directly tied to these three guys otf viney otf boogie otf dd clearly they tied to otf but they saying little dirt directly supplied finances for them to go and try to kill quando rondo man so let's let Urban AI wrap it up for us. Urban AI, why is Lil Durk in jail? Lil Durk, whose real name is Dirk Devante Banks, was arrested in Florida on charges of murder for hire. The arrest is connected to an alleged plot targeting rapper, Quando Rondo, in retaliation for the 2020 killing of King Vaughn. Dirk is currently being held without bail. Okay, and I like to see how much... This algorithm that I'm using for the Urban AI, I like to see how much it knows about hip hop and current situations at hip hop. I'm trying to give it street smarts. I'm doing some things behind the scenes, some coding and some other stuff like that to see how much I can get the AI program to know about the culture and about current events, man. So if y'all like that, like, share, subscribe, and help the channel grow. Now, is it true that Lil Durk is facing a life sentence? Yes, Lil Durk is facing the death penalty. The charges against him include conspiracy to commit murder for hire, committing murder for hire involving a death, and use of a machine gun in a violent crime resulting in death. If convicted, he could face severe penalties, including life imprisonment or the death right, penalty. Man, now, that's unfortunate, man. This is crazy, man. But y'all get in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. Can Dirk beat this? I'm, I'm hearing some people saying Dirk can beat this. Maybe he got the money to fight it. I don't know, man. A lot of people... Talk about the feds. They say the feds, you know, you can't beat the feds. They got a 97% win rate or whatever the case. That's also because they, a lot of people take plea deals. What what type of plea deal could he get? Is there a way that he could not do a whole lot of time? And even a death penalty, man, this is crazy, man. But get in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this. Urban Artificial Intelligence, Strategic Thinking Media Platform, OTF, Members, and Lil Dirt, link to Murder for higher plot for Quando Rondo and Lil Dirk is currently in federal custody, man. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.